Let me let me explain something to you, chat. Okay. Are you ready for an actually like unironically very helpful punish game tip? Because nobody really does this at early levels, or at least nobody knows how to do it. Okay. So let me give you this one punish game tip real fast. So. How many times mech? I'm going to ask mech specifically because you're a falcon main. So you've probably seen this a million times. How many times have you seen none knee a mistech and immediately run off and drop someone knee someone again? A lot. It happens all the time, right? It happens literally all the time. Do you think that he's reading that? Do you think he knows what's happening every single time? No, he just covers it. Yeah. So let's say I'm playing Fox, right? I see so many people play and this is what their punish game looks like. Let's say I'm watching a low mid-level fox combo. Okay. So, this is what I see happen all the time. They nair, they watch, they see that the nair hit, and then they run, and they follow it up. Right? They nair, they pause for a second, and then they run. Nair, pause, shine, run. Human reaction time is like 15 frames, right? So On average. So, a fourth of a second, right? About a fourth of a second, they stop, they watch the hit confirm, they see it happen, and then they go to the next move. Now, you watch none play, right? Okay? You watch none play. And I'm picking this clip for a very specific reason. And if you watch after he gets his knee, the exact situation that Mech, that I asked Mech for, he's immediately running for it. Okay? Watch this. There's literally, I don't think there's a single wasted frame once he's actionable. He's just running right there's no hesitation is he a mind reader no he's not a mind reader what's happening here and this is something that all of you need to get in the habit of doing now is right here before this knee hits okay he knows his knee is gonna hit he's not reacting to the knee hitting he's reacting right before the move is about to hit okay this knee's gonna hit i know it's gonna hit i'm going to immediately run off and cover the next option basically the lesson is you can't react to your move actually confirming in a lot of situations because melee is too fast. And so you have to react five or 10 frames beforehand to figure out, okay, is this move going to hit? If so, I'm going to be running and covering the next option preemptively. Don't react to the hit actually hitting because you can't react to it and actually get a follow-up half the time. That's why none makes a bunch of conversions that you're like, how the fuck did those two things like link? Even though I never even considered that in my life because he's so quick out of his hit that worst comes to worst, you know? There's nothing there. He DI'd out. Okay. He just jumps back. There's no hesitation. But if he goes in, yeah, it sounds obvious, but people react to the hit itself and they don't react to what happens before the hit, right? He's reacting before it hits and then running it accordingly. When I do up air tech chases as Fox, uh, most people Foxes know at low percent that the up platform tech chase isn't technically true. So I'm going to make it true for a second. Uh, I'm actually going to go combo trading by making it a mistech, okay? I'm making it a mistech uh, on purpose. Or let's make it tech in place. Uh, tech in place. Tech in place is easy to cover. When I go up there, I'm reacting to the fact... I'm not reacting to the up there hitting. I'm reacting to when I see that animation. I've already jumped, so... Right? Here, I'm reacting to the fact that my up air is going to hit. I'm on the right side of Fox. Up air can cross over... You can cross over DI and up air. So I know for a fact that I'm going to hit the up air and I'm going to start running to my left immediately. Here, I've made the decision that after my up air, I'm going to start running to the left because he's either going to ASA down tech it, uh, in which case he's probably going to do it to the left, or he's going to DI it and he's going to go send to over to the left. And so I'm already going to be running. There, it didn't have to. But you react before it actually hits and not afterwards. I just have given like 10 lessons in the past two weeks where every single person had that same exact mistake. And I was like, okay, uh, apparently this is like something that I just should address to a bunch of people. Don't react to it. Sometimes you can. Some moves are super easy to do it with. Not most moves you can't. You have to look at the situation beforehand. React to the situation before. Don't react to the actual hit confirm. You can't always hit confirm things. One last thing I want to show you. Just in case it wasn't clear. The reason this is good is because worst comes to worst. It's not correct. He just jumps back and prepares for the next option. That's the thing you have to realize. Don't overextend. You can't just automatically run the next direction. You're running. That's your time to confirm if you need to go for it or not. Like right here. None still thinks he might double knee right here. Once he gets to here, he realizes, okay, I see where he is. I can't get the double knee anymore. Like double knee clearly won't work. It might. Probably not. Probably not. Probably wouldn't have worked. 
right there is when he decides that he's not going to double knee. Make sure not to just automatically commit to something early. Commit to moving in that direction. Don't commit to an option. That's how you overextend. That's how you get fucked. That's my tip for the day. Try to confirm before it actually hits. You can't always do it, and you might get fucked up for it once in a while. That's fine. Just learn where you can and can't. You'll learn over time.